Go. Good morning, I'm Marjo from Bargo and we're working on a project for the bicentenary of the first land grants in Bargo, standing outside the Bargo post office. This building was opened in about the early 18, sorry, 1920s, <laughs> not quite that early. Um, and a Mr. Bennett built, built the building. Uh, it was initially a shop as well. Um, and he originally had it up near the, the public school and it had previously been at a number of different locations in people's homes, etc. Um, originally the mail came through Bargo on horseback and then followed up by the Cobb Co coach. But when the train line went to Mittagong via the loop line, uh, the Cobb Co coaches stopped. So in 1867, that's when the, the railway line opened, and in 1868, there was the first official post office in Bargo at William Anderson's Inn. He was paid a grand total of 12 pounds a year for the service. Because the town was not very large in those days, it closed again in 1872. However, it reopened again in 1875. The cooks were probably the longest serving postmasters here. They arrived in 1954. I keep going to the 18s, but it's the 19s. 1954 and were here till the mid 70s. Um, when they arrived, there were only two sealed roads in Bargo. One was on this side and one was on the other side of the railway line. The William Wilkinsons also had a rather long time serving as postmasters, although that was John and Mary from 18, 18, 1980, no, sorry, the 18s are right this time, 1881 to 91, and then their daughter Matilda from 1903 to 1915. Um, the post office was also a shop for, for a long time until more shops opened up in town and it gradually reduced just to be the post office as well as the telephone exchange. And the telephone exchange kept going until the 70s when the automated phones arrived. There are also, there are also a mail contractor around town and they originally started on horseback, not the same ones that we've got now. <laughs> um, some went to the cars and now they deliver on the posting bikes. So just, Keep an eye out for more stuff on Bargo 200 years. <laughs>